Hello my pretties, my name is Drew Pickles, the swellest, bisexual and polyamorous man in the universe. And today, in honor of Space Voyager 1701's 31st birthday, I was instructed by the Queen of Lions to do this video. To celebrate Space Voyager's birthday, I will be doing a random King Possible story, and no it is not from fanfiction.net or any other site switch stories. This is just a random one I came up with, so let's get on with the story. I would be in the story as well, to make it more swell. I would be heading to Kim Possible's house one day, as I was bored and wanted to go on a random adventure. In my way to Kim Possible's house, I would see Bonnie Rockwaller with the other cheerleading girls. They would be at Middleton High School, they would see me walk in to watch their performance. At first Bonnie would say, what the poke is going on here? I would then reply with, nothing that concerns you Bonnie. I am just here to see what you all women are up to. In response to that, Bonnie would tell me that Patrick Starr was bitching about candy earlier. I would then sigh and say that Tubba Bubblegum really needs to stop asking people for candy, as that is considering him to be a greedy starfish. Bonnie would then say that Jasper also tried to turn her and her friends into a human centipede, but Kim Possible and Ron Stoppable along with Shadow and Dr. Draken had stopped him by getting his ass pounded by my gay counterpart from the Barney Bunch. As I was about to leave the school, Mr. Bargin would ask me this, Drew Pickles. How did you get to Middleton High? Well that is stupid logic there mister, so I don't give a poke about that, it is a Drew Pickles video, so what do you expect in a Drew Pickles video? As Mr. Bargin and I were talking, I would see the baby bunch trying to unleash their swellness in the high school. But Bonnie with the other girls and I would then use our fog gun to spray fog at them like <laughs> After we knocked out the baby bunch, we would all get out of the high school, which it blew up by one of the toilets that wrecked the ogre clogged earlier. Yes that fast ogre clogged the toilets there again, just don't ask why he did that, it is Shrek's bad habit. Then I would hop into my car and drive to Dr. Draken's lair, when I get there. I would see Mama Lipsky looking at Dr. Draken's laptop. I would then say, hello my name is Drew Pickles, and hope you're having a swell day Mama Lipsky. As I said that, Mama Lipsky would see a bunch of shock movies on Dr. Draken's laptop. What the poke? Mama Lipsky would scream, causing Dr. Draken and Shadow to have heard Mama Lipsky scream, at first they were confused. But they would say, Drew Pickles, how did you get here? I would then reply with, just want to do this video for Space Voyager 1701's birthday, as it is his birthday and the fourth wall would be shattered. There's so much shock movies. Mama Lipsky would say angrily, showing Dr. Draken the movies she found in his laptop. What are you doing looking at my private shit? Dr. Draken would say, this resulting into Mama Lipsky taking the laptop and smash it with a hammer, then Shadow set the laptop to roast it on fire. After that was taken care of, Mama Lipsky would say, I have heard about you Drew Pickles, I hope your meat stick isn't 300 long mile long. I would chuckle and say, no it isn't that long, you're referring to my gay counterpart from the Barney Bunch. That sick poke has a son with Barney called Drew Pickles Jr. Mama Lipsky would throw the laptop in the garbage, since it took a lot of damage from destroying it. Shadow would then say to me that I pleasured myself to her in the shower earlier, and I would apologize to her for that, as I like men and women, since I am bisexual, but also ploy Morris. Shadow would then roast my ass, causing me to yell out as she chases me throughout the lair. As soon as I lost Shadow, I headed back into my car and head for King Possible's house, as soon as I get there. There will be long ass line consisting of the following people, Disney fans who like Disney Channel and shows, autistic man children, YouTubers who are eager to meet King Possible, fanboys and fangirls of the show, etc. After I get out of the line by waiting, Mr. Possible or James Possible would open up the door to greet me. As he saw me, he would say, Hello Drew Pickles, welcome to the Possible House. I would then reply with, Hello James Possible, this day is sure is very swell. As soon as I said that, Jim and Tim would be roughhousing, as boys normally do that. However, when one of them threw a basketball at me, it would hit my balls and meat stick. Ah, 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 ah. I would then yelp in pain, calling to the ground like a man-child. James would then scold the boys and send them to their room for kicking me there. I would then get up as soon as I no longer feel pain, 
as getting hit in the nuts really hurts. As I walked into King Possible's house, I would see King's mother, known as Anne Possible. She would say, Hello Drew Pickles, how is the swellest bisexual Ang Paloy Morris man today? I would tell Ang that I am doing very swell, and that my meat stick and nuts were hit by a basketball that Jim and Tim hit me with. Oh geez, those boys are rough at times, King and Ron are both upstairs, if you wanna see them. As I climbed up the stairs, I would see King and Ron going at it in the bedroom. I wanted to join in to make it more sweller, but that would be very swell. So I did it anyway, and it would sound like <laughs> As I joined in with them, since it wouldn't be going into full detail, so just use your imagination. Bag, that was swell. After that swell steamy time with King and Ron, we would walk out to see Monkey Fist in the house. He would say, Drew Pickles, what are you doing here? I would then say, prepare for a surprise from the swellest man in the universe Monkey Fist. I still have never forgotten what you did to me last week, flooding the house, after Wacko clogged it. I would then kick Monkey Fist in the meat stick and nuts, causing him to yelp in pain. King and Ron would then stuff him in a garbage can, as we poured spicy gray and hot sauce that expired in it. Barney would then come along and fart at Monkey Fist's face, then we would roll him down the road until he ends up at the landfill. Boy the landfill sure does stink, but at least that villain is out of the way. Kim would then order us pizza and it'll be very swell, Ron would then get a big order of Buno Macho. Ron, why are you getting Buno Macho, when we're ordering pizza? Ron would say that he likes Buno Macho, and that it is very swell. We all ended up inviting Space Voyager 1701 to Kim's house for a surprise party, which it will make it very super de duper swell. As soon as the food arrives, I would pull out an ice cream cake from Barney's Barney bag. I have no idea how it didn't start melting, but I guess logic is the answer. Then we would decorate the house so we can surprise Space Voyager 1701. As we invited the members from the Linus Bunch and the Starry Bunch, we would also invite all of Kim's friends so we can surprise him. When Space Voyager 1701 walked in Kim's house, we would all surprise him and he would be very swell to see us. As we have had a swell birthday, Barney mostly ate a lot of food, as he is a food on dinosaur. We all had to remind Barney to save some for everyone else, and he said, Okay Drew, this food is very swell. After the party was over, Space Voyager 1701 would thank us for the swell party, and Barney would then let out a fart from eating spicy gray earlier. God damn it Barney, go to the bathroom, if you're gonna have farts that are red and hot. As I said that, Barney would do so and I do hope he doesn't burn down Kim's house, as Kim would not be very happy if he did that. Well my pretties, I guess that concludes today's story, hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications to when the Queen of Lions uploads a new video. Roll the outro, because I am out, and see you all next time. Happy birthday Space Voyager 1701, hope you have a very swell day in your birthday.